Hi everyone, this is Bargain Clipper and I'm here. Uh, first I would like to say welcome to all of my new subscribers and thank you for watching, commenting, and rating all my videos. Well, I'm here to show you what I'm doing with my hair today. Um, I've already started. What I'm doing is I'm trimming my own hair today. The last time I had my hair trimmed professionally was back in March of 2009 and March 2010 I tried to attempt to trim my own hair, uh, loose hair, with conditioner on it, combed it down, you know, detangled it and just said, okay, this feels right, clip pretty much hacked in my hair and now my hair has grown and therefore I feel like it needs a trim. Now, um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to find a stylist that's willing to work with my hair in its natural state. Um, I, the first time that I had my hair trimmed, professionally trimmed since my BC or Big Chop, I went to a professional and she blew out my hair and proceeded to trim it. And I think that's what she did, yeah. And I just, opted I'm concerned about heat damage even though you know people are careful use heat protectants and things like that excuse me um, still I'm concerned about my hair reverting back to its natural texture so it would be nice to find a stylist that's willing to work with my hair don't be intimidated it's you know it's tightly coiled fine hair but uh, and it's a lot of it, but you can work with it. <laughs> so until I find a stylist that's willing to, I'm going to do it myself. Now, I've been um, educating myself, doing some research online, and I came across a blog by the name The Natural Haven. And she comes, I think she's a cosmetic scientist. I know she's a scientist, I think. <laughs> um, she comes and posts things that help you as a regular person kind of get an idea of that that field in the aspect of natural hair so I appreciate her blog for that and she posted um, a blog about trimming and that inspired me to do my trim today so now for you to see I have a little mirror so I'll be changing levels so I can uh, see what I'm doing but the things you'll, pr you'll probably need um, are some water so you won't be manipulating dry hair. Have mine in a spray bottle. You'll need some duckbill clips. Um, you'll need some, I think these are magnetic clips. And I have different types. This is single prong, and these are the double prongs. These are the type of clips that you use for rollers or magnetic rollers. And I have, I have a lot of these, but if you don't have that, you can use bobby pins or some, or ouchless bands. Some may even opt to use rubber bands, but um, I guess whatever you choose to use on your hair is your, you know, you, whatever you prefer. Also, a rat tail comb to help with, oops, excuse me, I had a rubber band on it. See, <laughs> I got everything in a bag. A rat tail comb. And... I guess some patience. Oh, and your hair trimming scissors. And what you want to do is, what I started to do is, I started parting my hair from front to back, and then from ear to ear, and then from that section, I started creating smaller parts. I'll definitely post her link in the description box so that you can see what see sh she suggests. But what I did for, she suggested I think one inch square parts. And so I divided this quadrant in half. And then I divided that smaller section I created in half. And then that in half. So therefore I created little square parts all over my head. And then I braided them down. Some may opt to twist their hair when they trim. But um, braiding helps to stretch the hair. Now I thought maybe I would try this with conditioner but then the conditioner with the water content in the conditioner would make my hair shrink more 
and I'm really trying to stretch my hair so I can get to those ends. Um, then when you're done braiding or as you're doing your sections, I'm on my last two sections right here. Let me spray my hair with some water. Spray my ends so I won't be manipulating dry hair. And I already have them sectioned off. Okay. Smooth the water on my hair. And then as you're braiding, you want to divide that section in three smaller sections. Hope you can see that. And divide that evenly. And you can braid over or under whatever your fingers are comfortable in doing. And just braid your hair down. Now I think I need to clip this part back because it wants to be in my way. But you can definitely check out the Natural Haven for her suggestions on trimming. So I'm going to just braid this down. That's what I'm doing. And to alleviate tangles, you know, keep the sections quite separated as you're braiding. And as I do that, and see my hair is not completely dry. Um, I washed my hair about three or four days ago. And I'm going to wash them again today with the braids in after I trim. And I might keep the braids in and use it as a style. Because after doing all this parting <laughs> and braiding, it's like I don't really want to, you know, let this hairstyle kind of go to waste. So I might put some curls in it, some rollers or something, and or flexi rods and have a curly braided style. Something different. Excuse me. Okay, I'm getting closer and closer to the end now. And, uh, you know, you can probably, you know, as you're doing this, you can oil your hair if you so choose to. You know, it's whatever you want to do with your hair. I hope you can see that. Okay, I'm coming to the end, and as it's getting skinnier, as I go down, um, I'm not going to separate the hair. If I end up having one piece that's smaller, or less than amount, I'm going to just twist my ends with whatever hair is left. But you can kind of see where I need to trim. Or you will once I'm done with this braid. Okay, I'm just twisting the end now. Maybe to the bottom. I pretty much know that I'm going to need to trim a fair amount of hair. Okay, so that one's done. And if you read the post or the couple posts she puts up about trim, about our hair over time, from just natural wear and tear, uh, natural what, from every day, you know, from washing and conditioning, and from styling, regular styling our hair, from everyday things like the elements or whatever, it's going to wear on our hair. And after time, no matter your length of hair, your your roots are going to be thicker. And as you work down to the ends of your hair, since it's the oldest part of your hair that's been exposed to all of the washing and conditioning and uh, styling and everyday wear, wear on the hair, your hair will, those layers, I think it's about seven, five or seven layers that eventually get worn away. It, that, that happens on a regular basis. So um, your ends will be thinner. But you'll see a diagram that she has in that post and it'll show you pretty much where you may want to trim your hair. And most people I know when they trim their hair they use twists, two strand twists, and they just clip off the end. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill down my braid and I would I kind of want to trim this much off but I'm a little nervous about that so I'm going to trim just down here and then when I'm facing a full mirror I'll trim more so 
I hope I told you guys to have a pair of uh, barber scissors that's just for your hair. And let me look in the mirror here. Look at this end. And I'm just going to trim off that amount. That's what I decided to trim off on my hair. And once I get all of my braids done, I'll probably uh, trim some more looking at it. Like this one above my ear is like super long. I don't know if you can see that. That one's touch is almost touching my collarbone, but that's the only one on this side that's gonna be that's that long, and I don't want that that long. And this helps me to um, helps against tangles. I'm getting a lot more tangles because I have some sections where there's really long hairs, and then there's medium sized hairs, and then there's smaller hair lengths, and and that that bothers me as I'm detangling my hair. So that's why I chose to trim my hair today. Um, in no way I'm telling you this is what you should do. This is what I'm doing with my hair. And I'm just letting you know what, what's going on here. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time in a video. Alright, take care. Bye. Oh, one more thing. My sister helped me part the back. As you see, you want to do those squares all over. So... Hope you guys can see that. And I'm going to just do the same thing that I did in the front and the back. Alright, I'm out of here. Bye. <laughs>